certainly true to say that in, in Einstein's theory, we've got four dimensional space, then, then you're prevented from traveling back in time. According to physics, time is a dimension where things appear to happen in an unbroken order from the past, present, and future. This is untrue, though, as Brian Cox has revealed a mind-blowing new explanation of time. Perhaps we are merely imagining time, and we are actually living in a continuum where the same thing happens all the time. See why that is now. In the UK, every child knows Brian Cox. Cox has spent decades simplifying and making sense of difficult scientific and physical concepts. Brian Cox is interested in the nature of time as well as gravity. Sincerely, have you given time any thought today? Most likely you have. It's possible that this morning you glanced drowsily at your alarm clock and said to yourself, there's no way this night is already over. Or perhaps you scheduled a date for a specific time and arrived late for the subway. But none of this is time, not in the sense that physics and maybe our universe understand it. Physics experts are baffled by the quantity of time, which is also a fascinating reality. The idea of the arrow of time refers to the asymmetry or one-sided orientation of time. Time seems to flow in one direction to us all the time, from the past to the present to the future, from childhood to old age, and from yesterday to today and tomorrow. However, this concept of time is unreal. It only exists in our minds. It is far more possible that time does not exist at all or that it passes in different parts of the universe in quite different ways. The quote from Einstein goes, time is what you read on the clock. Time was viewed as an immutable, continuous quantity in classical Newtonian physics that was unaffected by motion or location. However, Einstein demonstrated that depending on an observer's relative speed and gravity, time might appear to run differently for them. This indicates that perception is subjective and that time is relative. Depending on what you're doing and how you're feeling, you may perceive time very differently from me. It's also likely that various animals perceive time in very different ways. For example, an elephant likely interprets time spans and event sequences considerably differently from an ant or a mouse. Put your hand on a hot stove for a minute and it seems like an hour, is another lovely quote by Einstein. An hour passes rather quickly when you sit next to a lovely female. Relativity is that. However, if time is not a fixed quantity, then what is it? We see time as a function of matter. Time is the series of occurrences and our subjective experience. After getting up and having a cup of coffee and brushing your teeth, time elapses. However, if we examine attentively, neither your kitchen nor your bedroom include the element known as time. We have timepieces that tell us the exact moment, but we humans invented them. Did you know that no year is 365 days long, and no day has exactly 24 hours? Although we created these time units to help us arrange our daily activities, time is not real in the traditional meaning of the word. Exciting things happen if we take our watches, which serve as timepieces. A hand denotes an event, and between two jumps of the hand is what we refer to as time. If it jumps farther, the following action takes place. Thanks to modern physics, we now know that under some circumstances, even clocks can exhibit unusual behavior. Gravity's effect on time dilation is one of these phenomena. Gravity is caused by mass, and according to Einstein's general theory of relativity, mass may also bend space, affect time, or change the order in which events occur. This results in gravitational time dilation, a phenomena. Time moves more slowly in a stronger gravitational field than it does in a weaker one. Clocks positioned at various heights have provided experimental confirmation of this. For instance, a clock that is located nearer the Earth's center runs slower and faster. 
Black holes also exhibit the time dilation phenomenon that occurs in the proximity of mass. From the viewpoint of a distant observer, time would appear to stop completely around extraordinarily enormous giants. The clocks stop because of how much the incredibly powerful gravitational force extends time. The consequences of gravitational time dilation are also demonstrated practically by the Global Positioning System GPS. GPS satellites are positioned higher in orbit, where Earth's gravitational pull is less strong. Time, therefore, moves a little more quickly at satellite altitude than it does on Earth's surface. These adjustments must be programmed into GPS systems by engineers in order to deliver precise positioning data. Gravity is incorrect, claims Brian Cox. Brian Cox is dead right, despite the fact that it sounds odd. We don't even know if gravity exists or what it actually looks like. It is similar to time. While he was able to see gravity, Isaac Newton was unable to define the force or explain its origins. All we know is that attraction works, drop anything, and it comes to rest on Earth. The only reason we are able to stand on our globe is that it draws or retains us in space. Without it, our bodies feel weightless. Space travelers would only encounter another draw when they got closer to a different planet. This impact is entirely different on other celestial bodies, yet it is comparable to ours on certain planets. Your weight there would only be around one-third of your Earth weight because Mercury's gravitational attraction is just 38% that of Earth. Mars is a lot like Mercury in this regard. Future settlers there will only weigh one-third as much and will likely have an entirely different sense of time. Titan, the biggest moon of Saturn, may also see human travel at some point. Human weight would be only 14% of Earth's weight on Titan, making humans feel almost weightless. Space explorers will experience time dilation once more while traveling to these far-off planets or moons. Time changes as soon as the spaceship departs Earth. If spaceships were to approach the speed of light, this would be considerably more pronounced. Time would appear to pass regularly for the space passengers on board. They would eat, sleep, and conduct research in the same manner that they did on Earth. However, it would seem as though time was moving more slowly within the spacecraft to a spectator on Earth. Due to the entirely different gravity at the destination, time would flow differently and when the space travelers returned to Earth, a significant amount of time would have elapsed since they left Earth. How these factors would impact humans in space is still unknown. However, let's return to the intriguing claim made by Brian Cox that gravity might not exist at all, or not in the sense that we currently understand it. Nowadays, most people agree that gravity is the fundamental force responsible for the attraction between objects of mass. According to Einstein, it is the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. Because stars are heavy, space-time is bent or curves as a result. These theories suggest that you bend space-time slightly with your weight and fall into the Earth's funnel, drawing other nearby masses into it. This keeps us grounded and prevents us from flying through the air. Brian Cox is correct when he says that gravity is more of a geometric feature of space-time than a force. A remarkable fact that becomes apparent when we explore the vastness of the universe is that galaxy clusters and individual galaxies do not follow the laws of gravity in terms of their rotating speeds. Because of this, scientists developed the theory of dark matter, the existence of which has not yet been established a planet in which time does not exist. What if I told you there is no such thing as time? Time is an illusion, according to many spiritual traditions, particularly Eastern religions. There is just the present instant in reality. Our subjective perception of the world around us and the things we do in it give the feeling that time is passing. Our sense of time would end suddenly if we were to ignore this. Of course, Things would still happen, like apples ripening on a tree or your body aging. However, if you accept these viewpoints, 
they are also merely effects, optical deceptions that give us the ability to perceive this reality. Buddhist monks can reduce their respiration and heart rate down to the point where, in terms of Western medical protocol, they ought to pass away. These individuals can, however, outsmart our subjective perception of time or even momentarily halt it altogether. Evidence exists that monks with specialized training can defy gravity through chanting, and this is precisely how the Egyptians are supposed to have moved the massive stone blocks needed to build the pyramids. The monks' will and their chanting correspond to a vibration and a force of consciousness. These forces seem to exist far above what is considered fixed physical quantities or reality. It's highly likely that the universe of these numbers and measuring units simply represents a single aspect of the potential. We presumably all share a common consciousness of time, which we spread to one another by our thoughts and deeds as a species. The sense that time flies by faster as one gets older is a common one. This is untrue as scientists have now found. The truth is that our brains are just not as open and observant as those of toddlers. The brain develops fixed pathways as we age, and scientists have discovered that the brain can choose block out certain time intervals for various types of activities. It seems as though time has passed because of this. Our bodies age, of sure, but if we consciously dealt with time, we could definitely manage and lengthen these processes so 80 or 100 years old would appear like 200 or 1,000 years old. Get a subscription today to never miss a new video.